religious training. We're taught to receive the Spirit of Jesus. First, we have to be washed clean of our sins. Your name is Oscar Nelson. Oscar, have you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Yes, sir. Do you believe that Jesus died for your sins? Yes, sir. Water baptisms are usually done in a church or in a river. But this baptism is special. This person is special. And you're calling the Lord in baptism because you know that Jesus is in your heart. Yes, sir. You can be seated. Just be seated. This man has found God and is today going to experience the rebirth of his soul. This is the receiving of the Holy Spirit by a prisoner behind the bars of county jail. I will baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And I ask you, dear Lord, to bless this young man, to make him a living testimony to the glory of Jesus our Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Jesus, your Lord. Hey, God bless you. Frank Mills, hometown Knoxville, Tennessee. Today, he's going to be baptized. It was a hard decision for him. Well, I was, you know, doing a little bit of everything as far as seeing goes and just... Just everyday sinning, you know. And one night, five of us got together in the drunk tank and decided to uh, get in the back of the cell and just get out on our knees and pray. And while we were praying and confessing our sins, I started shaking and started crying. And I didn't know what was happening. And the guys told me that I had been saved. Convicted of burglary, Frank has had a lot of time to think about his life. Well, I hate to put it on other people. It was my fault, but I was with other people when it happened. And, uh, you know, I was, after I got saved, I didn't want to try to lie my way out of it or anything like that. I was willing to accept it as it came because I had Christ with me. Frank is one of many inmates who asked to be baptized. A shortage of deputies kept the prisoners from being taken to the baptism. Reuben McCollum, one of many interdenominational ministers who visits prisoners, remembers it as being a huge obstacle. Uh, it became very difficult from week to week as we talked with them and as they continued to cry out why we cannot be baptized. And we explained to them uh, that it was not our control to just come in and baptize and we had to go by the authorities who was over us which was over the jail, to get their permission. And we asked them to be patient uh, until this thing could be worked out. And finally, it was worked out. Well, the idea of bringing the baptism to the inmate was started by this man, jail chaplain, Dr. David Chamberlain. He said the Bible guarantees the right of baptism. Uh, prompted by a question from some persons who listened to the preaching of Peter, uh, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, uh, uh, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So we take this term literally, and uh, we therefore give these men who have received Christ as Savior an opportunity to be baptized. So when the religious training was ready for Frank, it seemed he was ready for it. The, the New Testament consists of uh, uh, confessing your sins and being baptized, you know, and things like that. And, and, and if you really believe in what you read, then you know that that's the thing to do. For Frank, baptism was the next step in his training. But manpower still posed a problem. He had to be taken from the prison farm 15 miles to the county jail. A rather small problem when the alternative is finding your God. Frank Mills? Yeah, I was jittery inside, you know, I didn't know, I didn't know what went through it before, you know, and I was thinking like, well, they was going to keep putting my head under the water, and, you know, and, but I was willing to accept it. I, I knew that God wanted me to be baptized, so he would never allow it to happen. So I was just ready for it. I was nervous, you know, but I was, I was ready for it. 
receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. And you believe that Jesus died for your sins and was buried and rose again the third day. And Jesus is your Lord. And you believe with all your heart that he's in your heart right now. And you sit down. the command of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and upon the profession of your faith, I will baptize thee, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. I've been waiting on this day a long time. Describe the feeling. It's how I do describe. It's just like a dream come true, you know? Because I've been waiting on it. I received the spirit in the drunk tank. And it's been with me ever since. And now I'm just, you know, this is what I've been waiting on. Bringing the baptism to the inmate is unique. Dr. Chamberlain says requests from inmates to be baptized proves a lot of inmates want to be saved from the opportunity of committing a crime again. Saved in the nick of time.